Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. The Israeli Defense Forces say the bodies of three more Israeli hostages have been recovered from Gaza. They are those of Hanan Yablonka, Michael Lissenbaum and Orian Hernandez, it said in a statement. The IDF said the men's bodies were recovered from the northern town of Jabalia overnight in a joint operation with Israel's domestic intelligence agency. It comes one week after three other hostages' bodies were retrieved from Gaza. The dead hostages were among 252 people who were taken captive when Hamas gunmen attacked Israel on the 7th of October, killing about 1,200 people. Israel says there are about 130 hostages still held in Gaza. A desperate search for survivors is underway after a two-storey restaurant collapsed on the Spanish island of Mallorca, killing four people and injuring 16. <laughs> Several people are believed to be trapped under rubble at the site of the Medusa Beach Club, a beachside restaurant in one of the busiest areas of the regional capital, Palma de Mallorca. Police said the victims are a Spanish man, two German women and a Senegalese man. Police say the terrace caved in because of excessive weight being placed on it, but investigations continue. Local officials and aid agencies say a massive landslide is feared to have killed many people after it struck six remote villages in Papua New Guinea. The landslide buried more than 100 homes after it struck at around 3 a.m. local time on Friday in the highlands of Enga, north of the island nation in the southwest Pacific. It was not immediately clear how many people were trapped in the rubble and no casualties have been officially confirmed. Enga Governor Peter Ipitas said it was an unprecedented natural disaster. Papua New Guinea's Prime Minister James Marape said his government had sent disaster officials to the landslide site to start relief work, recovery of bodies and reconstruction of infrastructure. A UN expert has warned that Sudan's Darfur region is facing a growing risk of genocide as the world's attention is focused on conflicts in Ukraine and Gaza. The UN Special Advisor of the Secretary General on the Prevention of Genocide said many civilians were targeted based on their ethnicity in Sudan's besieged city of El Fasha, where fierce fighting has intensified in recent days. More than 700 deaths have been reported in just 10 days by the medical charity in the city. I would like today to raise my alarm in a clear and unequivocal way about the ongoing situation in Sudan. This situation today bears all the marks of risk of genocide, with strong allegations that this crime has already been committed. On day two of the general election campaign in the UK, Rishi Sunak has visited Northern Ireland, while Keir Starmer has launched his party's Scottish campaign. Mr Sunak says a fall in the energy price cap is another sign the economy has turned a corner. But Mr Starmer told an event in Glasgow that only Labour can stop the chaos. The general election will take place in the UK on July the 4th. We are at that moment. The Prime Minister has finally got round to calling the election. Standing in the rain without an umbrella, telling us he's the man with the plan. It's what Scotland has been waiting for. And whether you're a family that's been struggling with the cost of living for grindless month after month after month, whether you're a business that's been struggling against the odds for a very, very long time now, or serving your communities, this is for you because this is an election about change. And Kabosu, the dog behind the Doge meme, has died after 14 years of internet fame. In 2010, two years after adopting Kabosu from a puppy mill, her owner, Miss Sato, a teacher from Sakura, east of Tokyo, took a picture of her pet crossing her paws on the sofa. The Japanese Shiba Inu inspired a generation of online jokes and became the face of the Dogecoin cryptocurrency. She had been suffering from leukemia and liver disease. As a rescue dog, Kabosu's real birthday was unknown, but Miss Sato estimated her age at around 18. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.